What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making an awesome little bottle opener out of a piece of scrap wood we had laying around. Stick with us, we'll show you how we did it. So real quick guys, if you would hit that little subscribe button and the bell icon, we'd really appreciate it. We're almost at 50,000 followers, so help us out a little here guys. It doesn't cost you a dime. All right guys, so we have a ton of scrap wood just laying around. So I found this nice little piece of pecan and we're gonna make our bottle opener out of it. So we have a regular little beer mug template, right? And what we did is we just made it a different size, made it huge. And if you guys want something a different size that we don't have, just send mom an email, vicky at makeawoodsign.com and she can resize it for you. What she did for me is she made it bigger. So we're gonna carve this in there, we're gonna power carve it, and we're gonna put our bottle opener. Let's get going. The layout on this was super simple. I just centered the bottle opener and traced out my little islands to screw it to. Then I sprayed the big beer mug template. That simple. I started out with the profile bit at a quarter of an inch for the islands. Again, this is a super easy carve, so I didn't have to worry about going back twice to give myself more room. Then I switched to the 60 degree bit at 3 16 depth. These are nice thick lines so I didn't have to worry about any sharp corners or anything like that and the 60 degree bit really takes wood out fast. It gives a nice fat line. I wanted to have solid lines on this thing even though we're power carving it. So we went ahead and sprayed it black. Then I sanded it off with a 60 grit disc on the disc sander and a 120 grit on the random orbital. I didn't really need to sand off everything around the beer mug but I don't know it's just kind of a thing I have to do it anyway. All right guys, so now it's all carved and we sprayed it, which is something different than we normally do. But I kind of have an idea for this. I'm gonna try to go around this whole thing right up to the black line and I'm gonna do it with the Fordham. And I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm just gonna start carving until I'm happy with how it turns out. Let's get to it. It was kind of a challenge getting up close to the line without nicking anything, but that's part of woodworking. Dad was a little nervous about it, but I like to wing it, see what happens. Thank you. 
I liked the look that we had with the small burr, but uh, just, it was just missing something. So we used a big old cut saw burr on the die grinder and we took out a lot more wood. And I think it really added to the effect I was looking for. Once it was nice and charred, just the way Dad likes it, we just put on a bunch of coats of clear. That way when we paint it, we don't have to worry about it soaking in the wood. All right guys, so I got six or eight coats of clear on this thing. And again, you want to put the clear on first before you paint. That way if there's any over painting or if there's any drips or anything like that, it's easy to clean off. So we're going to be using the one shot, paint this beer mug, Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I got it all painted. I put a second coat off camera because it just didn't cover all that great, but it looks a lot better now. So now we just got to put on our bottle opener. Now we didn't have any of these and Amazon was going to take too long to get them to us. So we went down to like a little thrift store and we found something like this. And so we took the bottle opener off and chucked that and we're going to put it on ours. All right, now the best part, let's try it out. And we're gonna try it out with the kilt lifter. Perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe. And remember, if you're gonna have a beer, do it after you're working with power tools, not before. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email, ryan at makeawoodsign.com, or email dad, eric at makeawoodsign.com. We'll see you guys on the next one.